With the lower punch inserted, pour the pre-weighed powder sample into the die cavity. Then insert the top punch. Apply pressure simultaneously to the top and bottom punches, making sure that the die is not in contact with the press platens. Support the die using collapsible devices such as springs beneath the die or by insertion of a spacer under the die, which is removed after partial compression of the test specimen. Apply the final pressure necessary to compact the powder. Eject the test specimen from the die and measure its thickness. Center the test specimens using process conditions which have been mutually agreed upon by the parties concerned. Break the test specimens using a compression testing machine. First, clean the test specimens and flat surfaces free of surface oil or other contaminants. Position the test specimen so that the outer diameter is in contact with the two flat surfaces of the machine. These flat surfaces, of suitable hardness for the material being tested, shall encompass the entire length of the test specimen and be parallel under load within 0.002 inch per inch or 0.002 millimeter per millimeter. Apply the compressive load radially to the specimen at a constant crosshead closure rate not exceeding 0.2 inch per minute or 5.0 millimeter per minute. Use a scale on the compression testing machine with a precision of no less than 2% of the crushing force. Record the load where the specimen fractures, or the first point where the load drops, to the nearest 10 pound force, or 40 newton.